Elizabeth has been doing well farming pigeon peas, but climate change is becoming a huge challenge for her and other farmers. I have asked Samuel Mburu from the county government to suggest ways that farmers can manage their pigeon peas. Good management of pigeon peas can lead to better harvest, which in turn gives farmers more food and more money as well. Pigeon peas are good in, in this area because it is dry area and they, they do better than the other crops like maize, like beans, like the cow peas. Pigeon peas is a hardy crop. Mm -hmm. It grows in places that have little moisture mm -hmm. and also its nutrients requirements are not that very high. So with the, the little moisture we have here and the high temperatures also, pigeon peas will still be able to at least give uh, forth some harvest. Mm. How has climate change affected mm. growing of crops in this area? With uh, climate change, mm -hmm. we have had the issues with the crop production that were never there before. For example, there are times it rains a lot within a very, very short time. So much rainfall ends up washing away our topsoil mm. that uh, has all the nutrients, the necessary nutrients for crop growth. For the crops. Mm. Also, a lot of rainfall falling within a very short time mm -hmm. also results in uh, something we call leaching, mm. uh, which is uh, the washing away of all the nutrients mm. below the root levels of most crops. Eh? Mm. And also we also have an issue with the uh, incidences of pests and diseases being more often mm -hmm. and also new pests and the diseases that are, are attacking our crops that were never there before. before. So that uh, in mind, uh, mm -hmm. we are recommending our farmers to grow pigeon peas uh, mm -hmm. because for example, pigeon peas can be able to deal with the issue of uh, leaching or the washing of nutrients below root levels of most crops because mm -hmm. pigeon peas have a deeper root system. And also, pigeon peas are a legume crop. They have the ability to fix nitrogen. Mm -hmm. They end up adding fertility to your soil. And then during planting, it is advisable to use uh, fertilizer. We, we should also use a uh, well decomposed manure. When planting pigeon peas, space them 30 centimeters to 45 centimeters from plant to plant. This is enough space so the plants do not compete with each other for nutrients. So looking at uh, the spacing in between the pigeon peas crops, mm -hmm. the farmer will need to at least uh, put the plants that are in between in a way that she retains that uh, spacing of 45 centimeters in between two mm -hmm. plants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, after germination, you'll find that uh, the way you planted your seeds, mm -hmm. according to the recommended spacings, mm -hmm. there are places the plants don't germinate. Where there are those gaps, in order to maintain productivity, our farmer will require to go back to that land to replace all the seeds that did not grow. Mm. It's also important to regularly check for weeds and pests. Pigeon peas is affected by a number of pests. With climate change, that, those incidences have become a bit more. So we also have uh, chemicals that you spray mm. in order to kill such pests. Mm. Crop rotation also helps with pest control and disease. And because pigeon peas is a two-season crop, you can intercrop your pigeon peas with other crops from different families like maize, millet, sorghum or sweet potatoes. This helps increase yields and profits too. Pigeon peas are able to extract uh, nutrients from uh, deeper within the soil mm -hmm. than uh, beans are able to. With this kind of an intercrop, eh, the beans and the pigeon peas, mm -hmm. there is a more efficient utilization of nutrients. And then uh, with the crop growing very well, maybe about a month after planting, the farmer could use, uh, we call them foliar figs, eh, fertilizers that you spray on the leaves. On the leaves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They help the, with the crop vigor. Mm -hmm. The crop is able to grow stronger. Mm -hmm. You can be assured of uh, more harvest, mm -hmm. uh, more flowering and uh, better pond formation. You even have more uh, grains per pond. This is the right time for Elizabeth to add foliar feed to her pigeon peas. 